Hey, Fit Lovers. Hey, Fit Lovers. Welcome back. I am Ramsey. And I am Mina. And today we'll be doing another round of Q&A, where you, our audience, gets to decide the direction of the conversation by asking us anything you like to. Within reason, of course. So get ready. This is the Fit Love Show. Okay, Fit Lovers, so we have some pretty interesting questions from Will, Monica, Daisy, and Sean that we'll be answering today. But before we begin, we'd like to ask you to please click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit, turn your notifications on so you'll be notified when the new episodes are released. Yep. All right. Okay, babe, let's get it cracking. Okay, babe, let's go. You go I first. see. First question Will asks, if you could go back in time, what would you say to your 18-year-old self? Damn. Mm. Say, if you th say if you think. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'll first? answer first. Yeah. <laughs> if I could go back in time, I would tell my 18-year-old self to grind. That it was grind time. As soon as I turned 18, I felt like it was freedom and party time and I could do what I want and spend all my money on bull crap. But if I could holler at her real quick i would tell her to buckle down save all the money that you have or all the money that you're getting and um just grind keep your head down and grind through these you know young years so by the time you're 40 like me you're exactly where you want to be in life or at least close to there yep. not saying i'm not where i want to be in life because i am but yeah. professionally or you know financially uh, maybe yeah. yeah same with me actually the exact same answer. In fact, I've been telling my 19-year-old that now. It's like, hey, look, you know, now's the time when you're not beholden to anybody. You don't have any responsibilities, really. You have, she has responsibilities, but she just she doesn't have the level of responsibilities we have, obviously. So now's the time to just buckle down, stay busy, grind, make your money, build your skill level. And then by the time you're in your 30s and 40s and whatnot, you're- Yeah, you're 30s living, like this guy, large. 40s like this girl. <laughs> no, another thing I would tell my 18 year old self is don't be so hard on yourself. You're allowed to make mistakes as an adult. You're allowed to go through things. You know, you're going to have hardships and just believe in God and have faith. You know, um, if my head was fully on God and, you know, just have so much faith since 18, that too, things might not have been so hard for me or broken me down as a person, or I would have made different decisions for yeah. myself. So that too. Yeah, surround yourself with uh, with people who got stuff going on and going places. Mm -hmm. That part. Anyway, hope that answers the question, Will. All right, babe, next question. Okay, let's see. Monica asks, what type of genre of music do you listen to and why? Well, genre of music? Um, I like different genres, but the kind of music that I listen to nowadays is mostly instrumental. So I like kind of like a smooth type of jazz lounge groove, but it's no lyrics, just all instrumental. Something I could play cleaning up the garage. As you can see, I just did this past weekend or just driving down the street or I don't work out to that kind of music. It's just a little smooth and just soft, but, um, yeah, but I guess it transcends genres because that's your phone. <laughs> Tran transcends genres because as long as the music is good, it really doesn't matter which kind of genre it is. If I kind of groove to it and it's a nice little beat or whatever, then uh, and it's a nice instrumental, nice music, then I can listen to it. So that's, that's my answer. I'll let you. Okay, well, our answers are kind of similar because of, I know I'm always listening to what Ramsey's listening to. We like to listen to the same music. We're pretty much on the same wavelength with that. I do listen to my Drake sometimes and my um, Travis Scott while I'm working out. That's vanilla compared to some of the to, stuff she be listening to. I listen to uh, Capoeira music because of this man uh, when I work we, out. That's what we work out to. We listen yeah. to cap Capoeira music. If you guys don't know what Capoeira is, it's a Brazilian martial art. Um, 
that uh, was developed by African slaves that came from came to Brazil from Africa um, and developed their own way of fighting. So, but there's music involved. So that's generally what we listen to when we work out. It kind of keeps you going. So yeah. Anyway, side note. Yeah. Continue, so, please. but I listen to what he listens to. We're we're on the same wavelength with that. We try not to listen to bad lyrics, horrible lyrics. You know what you sound like right now? What? What type of kind of music? Whatever. No. <laughs> what's your kind of favorite? What's your favorite music? Whatever music. You well, like. no. I said I also listen to Drake and um, Travis Scott. I really love Drake and Travis Scott. Yeah. If I'm not listening to that type of music, I'm listening to that. If yeah. I need to get a little more hype. Yeah. So, so that's it. That's what we listen to. Mm -hmm. Hope that answer your question, Monica. Okay, babe. You can answer the next one. All right. Next question. Oh, this will be a hot one. Uh, Daisy asks, who are you both voting for President of the United States? You can go first. Oh, hell no. Oh, excuse me, God. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, there's some things that I prefer not to discuss uh, with. Uh, yeah, that's uh, just. Do you want me to take it? Right I'm voting for God. That's who I'm voting for. <laughs> No, see, generally the two hot buttons we usually stay away from are religion and politics. Now, we've already sort of touched on religion and God because we genuinely feel that everyone needs God in their lives. Yes. Politics, on the other hand, eh, you know what I'm saying? Important thing, but does not govern our lives. We have our own opinions about things and, you know, we feel things about, you know, politically or whatnot, but we choose not to discuss those things uh amongst anybody other than ourselves so yeah our little circle so to answer your question daisy none yet <laughs> <laughs> i guess i guess well i'm saying you won't find out you'll nah. just we'll just see who uh, who ends up being elected president but uh yeah. yeah yeah so anyway i know that didn't answer your question entirely daisy but I skipped and tripped over that one. I yeah, skipped did and, not sk yeah, skipped and tripped. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect that one. Yeah, all right, but it did, did, did cause me to sweat a little bit more now. I know, like, I know. All right. Anyway, next. All right, babe. Next question. Okay. Okay, babe. The last question is for you. Sean asks Luke, "Why did you cut your hair? Why does everyone call you Luke?" I don't know. Some people just call me Luke. It's easier than Ramsey, I guess. Um, yeah, why'd you cut your hair, babe? Uh, I cut my hair, well, truth be told, I cut my hair honestly because I was starting to thin back here. And, you know, I'm not trying to support no hole in my, my, <laughs> my, my pro with my natural hair. So, anyway, so I just said. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, yeah, I know. And it probably wasn't. When I look now, it's like, uh, I mean, I noticed it, but most people didn't notice it. Mm -hmm. I know that she did. Cause she's just she's just being my wife right now. It wasn't no, that, it no, wasn't that I bad. really didn't notice it. it Sometimes we see things differently yeah. than other people. See anyway, us. the point was is I noticed it, and I don't want to feel self conscious about it. So I've I've worn my hair this short before and this close. At least I have a decent shaped head, and, and it looks very handsome on right, him, and, and it I, makes him look a little bit younger. And I, yeah, I can rock it, and you know, and so it's easier. The only thing is I got to cut it more often. I got to keep it close and line it up because I do like to stay clean cut. But uh, yeah, truth be told, that's why I cut my hair. And you see how this man sweats. So you can imagine <sighs> how much he was sweating yeah, my with God. his hair long. Yeah, I got my wine soaked towel here. <laughs> Wiping my face off, man. We're sitting in the garage here. So I don't have my fan on because it would be interfering with the sound. So this, you know, this is how you know he's a masculine man. He wiping his face with a dirty towel. <laughs> <laughs> we were out of here chilling. I was celebrating. I cleaned the garage. He's been cleaning this and garage we sitting, for days. I'm telling you, it took so me that's three all days. the dirt for three days. No, on that this, towel. no, this was just this was sweat. This was my sweat towel, and it became for like three, it, four it, days. it became it became my uh, it became my wine drinking towel, and then we spit a little bit, and then I wiped it up, and I'm still using it as my sweat towel. So anyway, spit or spilled? Spilled. Oh, okay. Yeah, spilled. Spit. So. So yeah, but it's even easier to wipe my face now because I can wipe. Stop showing that dirty ass towel, baby. I can, I can wipe. I can wipe my. I can wipe my whole head now, and don't have to worry about messing my oh hair. Oh my god, yeah. he is definitely washing his hands <laughs> and his face before. Oh, before he gets on for me. <laughs> anyway, Sean, I hope that answers your question. Okay, fit lovers, that was our show for today. We hope you enjoyed. 
that as much as we did. Mm -hmm. Please like and subscribe to our channel, Fit Level 101. Share this video and don't forget to turn your notifications on so you'll be notified when new episodes are released. Yup. Thanks again, Fit Lovers. Thank you. See you next time. Peace. God bless everyone.